Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Excuse me, please. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So the title of this particular prophetic word says, your partner had a huge fight with her regarding you. Your partner had a huge fight with her all because of you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See me for your very first time. My name is Ethel Betangba, and this is prayer and the prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You've been family, of course, you know that I love you so much. And my prayer for you is that the good Lord blesses you uplift you, reward you, give you a testimony, grant your heart desires, everything you've been trusting, praying for, believe in the Lord. Let it manifest in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, um, the Bible says one who chase a thousand and two will chase ten thousands. I say it again, the Bible says one will chase a thousand and two will chase ten thousands. You must understand that the enemy is never happy for two people to come together. And he will always want to fight. But he might not fight you directly. He might fight you still directly. But where he knows that he can bring in somebody to fight against your relationship, to fight against your marriage, to fight against your come together, he will do that through that person. There are people who start fighting you, and then afterward, they do not know, but they begin to notice themselves afterward. It was a setup, and all because it was the trap of the devil. There are so many people who are fed up. There are so many people who do not even know what to do. There are so many people who feel downcast in their relationship, not knowing it has been a spiritual battle. Ladies and gentlemen, life is purely spiritual. I know of a particular lady who loved her friend so much, and the friend was a male figure. This lady loved her friend so much. But the lady had somebody in her life. And the lady's relationship with this person in her life was dying. Series of problems. Her relationship was scratching. And while her relationship was scratching, she was already in love with this her friend. Meanwhile, her friend also had another person. You know, now the lady was so jealous of their relationship in such a way that the lady will say a lot of negative things about the other person. Saying so many negative things about this lady, all because she loved this man. At first sight, she had not spoken to the man about her emotions, but she would always discourage the man about the man's girlfriend. And it got to a stage where the lady could not take it anymore. And then she started telling the man, how she loved the man, knowing fully well that the man was in a relationship. What happened later on was the lady started talking against this particular lady. And then because she noticed that she could not have this man, she started trying again to bring other people and say, you cannot be with this person. You should be with somebody that I like. You should be with somebody that I can accommodate. You know, so many things and all that only trying to separate these two people. It got to a point where it was working. Yeah. It got to the point where it started working. It started working because the man started listening to the lady. 
because the man felt like if I marry this other person, probably my, my friends are not going to be happy. Probably, probably, you know, and this is witchcraft. The man started listening to the lady. Now, when the man listened to the lady, he got to a stage in his life where he knew and he noticed all these were manipulations. When he got to that particular stage, he confronted that lady, he spoke to that lady, and their friendship separated from then. Ask me how their friendship is right now. I don't know. I cannot tell if they've made up or they've never made up. Always wanting to put somebody down because you want to have your place is very wrong. So the man fought with this particular lady just because he wanted to make the other lady and right his wrongs and later on explain everything that had happened to the other lady. You don't know what is happening. You don't know how life is. There is somebody right now that is discouraging your partner from being with you. There is somebody right now that is saying negative things about you. And these negative things are things to discourage your partner, are things to tell your partner you're not worth it, are things to tell your partner to leave you. These are discouragements that are coming to your partner. And your partner had a great fight with this particular woman because of you. Your partner had to fight for you. Your partner had to speak and let them know that you're the one he has chosen. But this is not all. Mm -mm. This is not all. This is not the point where you become relaxed. This is not the point where you feel like everything is okay. This is the point where you pray for your relationship. You pray for your union. You pray for your marriage. You pray for yourself and you pray for your partner. You pray for the two of you. This is the time when you pray as never before because the day will never rest until what he wants is fulfilled. The good thing is that God is on your side. And the Bible says in all these things, if God be for us, who else can be against us? Nobody can stand and win against you, but you must pray. You must be in one accord. I speak into your life. By the mercy, help, and the grace of God, your union will stand. It will not fall. Your relationship will stand. It will not fall. Your marriage will stand. It will not fall. In Jesus' mighty name, wherever you find yourself, decree and declare. Say it will stand and it will not fall. Mention it if it's your union, if it's your relationship, if it's your marriage, mention it. It will stand. It will not fall in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please, if these have been of great blessings to you, do not forget to pray for me. Please, as a spirit of the Lord who lead you, please pray for me. Please, I beg you in the name of the Lord. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless you as you do so. In the name of Jesus, welcome to the family. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace, the shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing, nothing broken. I love you so much. I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.